Today we're going to show you how to change the door latch kit on your dryer. Really easy job. All you're going to need is a couple of tools, a pair of needle nose pliers, and a posi drive screwdriver, or if you don't have one, a number two Phillips. Let me show you how it's done. The very first step in this repair will be to disconnect power to the dryer. Now if it has a cord on it, simply remove the plug. If it doesn't have a cord and it's hardwired, we need to either turn off the disconnect switch or remove the fuses at the panel. Now this repair is in two stages. We need to replace the door catch on the door itself as well as the part that is on the front panel. The easiest way to do this is take the door off while the front panel is still intact. Simply remove the four screws that hold the hinges to the door. Take one out of the top and one out of the bottom first. A number two posi driver or a number two Phillips is the best screwdriver to use for this. Support the door securely while you remove the final screw. And lay the door on a suitable work surface. The top of the dryer will work just fine. Now that we have the door on a suitable work surface, the next step will be to remove the door handle. One screw on the back side. Next, we'll remove the two remaining screws that hold the two halves of the door together. Now we can separate the door. Next, need to depress the two tabs on the door strike and push it through on the back side. Take a pair of needle nose pliers, press the two tabs together. To install the new door strike, simply insert it through from the back side keeping in mind that we want to keep the strike portion of it in a vertical position. Hold it in place, put the retaining clip over top of it, and with our needle nose pliers, press that down into place. Make sure both locking tabs protrude completely through the back plate. Now we're ready to reassemble the door. We insert the two screws on the handle side. Insert the knob through the front. And the retaining screw through the back. Now that we're finished with the door portion, we can set that aside until we replace the door catch on the front of the front panel. Now to replace the catch on the dryer front, we first of all need to remove two screws underneath this lip.
Now we can pull out on the bottom of the front panel, tilt it, and let it drop down on the top to disengage the two spring clips. There is a harness running through the door switch. We'll release the tab. And that will allow us to get at the door catch. We'll need to depress the two tabs if there's any remaining on the back, push it through to the front. To install our new catch, we simply press it through from the front side until it snaps firmly into place. Now we can reinstall the front panel. Remembering to reroute the door switch wires to the retaining tab. We're going to line up two spring clips on the top of the front panel underneath the lip of the main top. Let it hinge downward. And we'll reinstall two posi drive screws. And they go in on an angle. And now we're ready to reinstall the door. The easiest way to install a door, if you don't have somebody to hold it for you, is to put one screw in on one of the top hinge holes, just to hold it in place, and put one in one of the bottom holes, that'll hold it until you can put the two remaining screws in. sure all four screws are tight and snugly. Check the operation of the latch. And our repair is complete.